Volvo XC90 has been in production since 2002. Is this behemoth, as we called it, so successful? And is it worth buying one on the secondary market? Approximately 50 chances out of 100 that the XC90 bought from us on the secondary market will be brought from the USA or Canada. More than half of the more than half a million issued copies were sold there. But regardless of the sales market, without exception, all XC90s were thoroughly welded and assembled in their native Swedish Gothenburg. The body adequately protects passengers in the event of an accident, and itself, from corrosion for many years, thanks to full galvanization. Appearance after three or four years begins to spoil except that the peeling chrome of the exterior. But the stuffing of the body from dampness gets fairly. Easily clogged drainage of the sunroof is dangerous not only for spoiled upholstery of the ceiling and pillars, water that has fallen on the cabin floor can destroy the longitudinal and lateral acceleration sensor, factory name, BCS, located under the front passenger seat. Even worse, if one day the audio system starts to stutter and the wiper goes out of control and takes on a life of its own, urgently check if a dam has formed due to clogged drains in a niche on the engine shield, where the Central Electronic Control Unit CEM, Central Electronic Module. Hurry up, the car will go completely blackout. More often this happens with cars older than 2005, then the block seals were strengthened, and if the problem cannot be solved by disassembling and drying, you will have to pay more than 1,000 euros for a new CEM. Restyled cars younger than 2006 have their own nuance. Make sure that the washers are more delicate with the parking sensors and the bumpers. It is easy to knock out weak sonar seals with a jet of water and the soap parking sensors will start to fail. If the seals are still in place, it's a good idea to reinforce them with a layer of sealant. In general, from older Volvos older than 6 or 7 years, small dirty tricks can be expected from all sides. For example, the lock buttons and the door skins jam the doors lock properly, and the buttons stick out misleadingly. From fatigue, the spring in the ignition lock bursts, which is why the key will stop returning after starting the engine, but the craftsmen have long learned to treat this ailment without replacing the lock. It's much more unpleasant when a worn-out steering lock jams, here you have to fork out, paying in addition to the tow truck for a new steering column. And if an elderly hippopotamus sadly buried his xenon gaze on the ground, then you will have to change the headlights due to a failed electric servo motor. Sometimes, after three or four years, the SAS sensor that monitors the steering wheel angle gets tired, the car will then go into emergency mode, becoming exclusively front-wheel drive, losing the help of the dynamic stabilization system and having the maximum engine speed. The electrical equipment of the engines, fortunately, is more reliable, except that the relay regulator often malfunctions in the charging system. And for a low-lying generator on an eight-cylinder version, after 80 to 100,000 kilometers, bearings that are poorly protected from dirt can make noise, since the unit is treated with simple cleaning and new bearing lubrication. The V8 motor, by the way, is curious, it was developed by Yamaha. Thanks to the unconventional camber angle of 60 degrees, against the usual 90, the G8 came out quite compact, which was important for the Swedes to maintain high passive safety. But because of such a collapse, a balance shaft had to be added to the design, its bearings are weak, and narrow oil channels are sometimes clogged. After 80 to 90,000 kilometers, you need to listen to the 8, it taps, it's time to change the upper mounting support, squeaks, urgently to the store for a new attachment drive belt guide roller, it is about to jam and break the belt. The most popular turbo engines of the B5254 T25, 60% of all cars, and the B6294 T6, 10% of cars, have common problems. Both, for example, do not tolerate intense heat, they burn, the ignition coils, and the unreliable Euro thermostat, wedges without warning, as luck would have it, but in the closed state, sending the coolant in a small circle, bypassing the radiator. And after five to seven years, the intercooler pipes dry out. In winter, it's its own misfortune, if you don't keep track of the cleanliness of the oil separator of the crankcase ventilation system that quickly overgrows with deposits, pressure of crankcase gases will squeeze out the camshaft seals. It is sometimes necessary to deal with the cylinder head unscheduled due to the fault of the CVVT system valves, which are responsible for supplying oil to the valve timing adjustment clutch, they are extremely sensitive to the quality and quantity of engine oil. A sometimes renders the clutch itself, and it is planned to open the head after 150 to 160,000 kilometers, I start tapping the valves. 
They do not have hydraulic compensators and the gap is adjusted by selecting the thickness of the pushers. In addition to the CWT system, pressure jumping in the fuel line leads to engine arrhythmia. This is due to a clogged filter mesh of the fuel pump in the tank. Separately, you cannot change it, but you can try to rinse it. Since 2007, the Turbo 6 has been replaced by an atmospheric 6, the B6324S engine with a volume of 3.2 liters. On the first machines, an unfinished oil separator of the crankcase ventilation system, located in the valve cover, was the cause of oil leaks, and the inline connections of the cooling system pipes between the expansion tank and the cylinder block flooded the generator located directly below them with antifreeze. But that's a thing of the past, and aside from the risk of changing the converter after 100,000 miles, the naturally aspirated 6 is the XC90's most reliable gasoline engine. But diesel is better. The five-cylinder D5244T engine, 20% of cars, is sensitive to diet and cleanliness, asking every 40 to 50,000 kilometers to flush the swirl flap unit and the crankcase ventilation system, and after 100,000 kilometers, you need to clean the exhaust gas recirculation EGR, system. But the only spot on the reputation is the flimsy electric drive of the turbocharger pressure regulator. There is a backlash on the axis of the motor which is why the bypass valve works with the delay and the turbocharger impellers get great from excess pressure. The nuance is that the failure of the motor is a lottery with a probability that can happen after 50,000 kilometers and after 200,000. Six-speed manual transmission M66, which is paired with five-cylinder gasoline and diesel engines. Unproblematic, but very rare. And of the automatic machines, the six-speed Eisenweimer TF80 which is suitable for diesel engines and atmospheric gasoline 6 3.2 and a 4.4 V8 engine, is more or less reliable, except for towing a trailer or conquering off-road. Things are worse with the reliability of the 5-step of the AW55 series, also Eisenwarner, which went to versions with 5-cylinder gasoline engines. The owners of the Volvo S60 also knew problems with it, until 2004. The early version of the AW55-50 to had to be changed under warranty after only 20 to 30,000 kilometers due to overheating and failure of the valve body. In 2003, the Japanese offered a more tenacious upgraded version with the AW55-51 to index, with an additional oil heat exchanger, and for the XC90 modified in this way, the problem of overheating is no longer particularly acute, but the valve body remained capricious. However, if you are not too lazy to change the oil every 60,000 kilometers and clean the cooling radiator every year, the Japanese unit has a chance to stretch at least 200,000 kilometers. And the most problematic is the ancient four-speed gearbox GM4T65E of the 1997 model, which turned out to be unable to get along with the violent Turbo 6s V6294T. Sometimes it has to be changed simultaneously with the first replacement of the timing belt at 90,000 kilometers. The valve body is the first to surrender, as a result of which the gear change is accompanied by kicks. Then the clutches and the torque converter fly in turn. The result is sad, a complete overhaul or replacement. Regardless of the type of box, you need to regularly inspect the junction with the bevel gear. Due to the tightness of the layout, it is taken out by a separate unit. The first leaks of the transmission box begin there. Another ambush lurks in the angular gear. After 100,000 kilometers, it often cuts off the splines of the worn connecting sleeve and the torque simply stops reaching the drive shaft, the crossover becomes purely front-wheel drive. The cardan itself, with the same run, also falls into the risk group. The hot exhaust system is imprudently laid close, right under the shaft, and the grease in the CB joints simply burns out. If you do not miss the moment when the tinkling starts when trotting, there is a chance to delay the purchase of an expensive cardan assembly by flushing and lubricating the hinges. After seven or eight years, also from the heat, the anthers of the CB joints may crack. If the propeller shaft rotates, but the rear wheels do not, the cause should be sought in the Haldex coupling in front of the rear axle. The main mechanical failure is the oil pressure sensor. Almost as often, especially on cars older than 2009, the oil pump breaks down. But the most vulnerable spot is the DEM control unit, mounted on the clutch housing and afraid of dampness. But the suspension is strong, even the stabilizer struts of the McPherson front suspension rarely need to be replaced before 70 to 80,000 kilometers, and the frightening clang of metal on metal that appears before does not at all indicate the imminent death of the suspension, but a constructive mistake, 
you just need to return the restless rubber supports to their place between spring and shock absorber cup. True, on specimens older than 2004, due to the insufficient thickness of the mounting bolts, the bushings of the separately changed silent blocks, 50 euros, of the front levers often broke, but then they began to use thicker bolts and the first after 80 to 100,000 no longer withstand the rubber bands of the hinges. The rear multi-link is even more tenacious. Her reputation can only be spoiled by wool bearings, which do not always reach 80 to 100,000 kilometers and come complete with the hub. But new shock absorbers, for example, will not be required before 150 to 200,000 kilometers. But then the seven-seater versions with the ride height maintenance system will have to pay 1,100 euros for a pair of Nivimat shock absorbers, and many owners prefer to switch to regular racks. Total. What is the bottom line? The most trouble-free Volvo XC90 with a diesel engine and mechanics cannot be found in our day with fire, this can only be found in Europe. But if you forget about the frankly unsuccessful versions with the Turbo 6, which were not lucky with either the engine or the gearbox, then in terms of reliability, the Volvo XC90, although inferior to the Japanese Land Cruiser Prado, is still better than the German crossovers VW Touareg, BMW X5 or Mercedes M-Class and at the same time cheaper than both of them by an average of 20 to 25 percent. But keep in mind that the XC90 annually loses as much as 14 to 17 percent in resale value and it will not be easy to sell the behemoth later.